he ate that. I'm like what? Why is that? Yeah. Yeah. That's fighting like a burbot, though. I don't like that. I don't know yet. Oh, 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 maybe not. <laughs> That's a lake trout, yeah. Yeah, they're better fighters. Better fighters than burbot. They taste good. The smaller ones, anyway. You should let the big ones go. You want these big lake trout to keep spawning. Oh, he's feeling like he's coming off. Sometimes, like, remember Bridge Lake, that other laker? They'll follow each other up. I think there's one following this guy up. There he goes. He's burping. Oh, yeah, look. Bubbles. Oh, that's a little guy. That's like... It's a little guy. He fought, pre he fought pretty well, though. He like ate this thing. Yeah. He's not ready. He's not ready. <laughs> That's a good fighter. Those are good fighters. He's going right down to the bottom. Right back down to the bottom. Well, you were just saying you needed a bit of a workout. <laughs> My arm's getting sore. <laughs> okay, he's done. Oh! Oh, what happened? Why did it go so slack? Did he break me? He broke me off. Oh no, that was one of my, I don't have many more of those. Oh, oh no, it's a good thing I have a tube jig ready. I guess I should have, um, I should have checked my line for fray after I caught that one fish when they're rolling and they eat it like that. Their teeth are so sharp. I think that's what happened. That's my fault for not doing what I'm supposed to. All right. Spearhead tube jig. Let's see. That was a pretty nice morning to be out. Well, I just remember bridge, uh, it was like... There you go, drop. Drop, drop, drop. Ah. It was wet? Almost like the spot. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I always say all you need is a pocket full of buzz bombs. All we need, pocket full of buzz bombs, fresh hooks, and a rod, and a rod yeah, and a boat, and a fish finder. <laughs> oh, oh, that hurts. Sharp, 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 sharp. Ouch. Right in the finger. <laughs> Good job. One in the boat. Uncle Matt's boat's got a fish in it now. One one, yeah. We're not keeping score. Uh, we are. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you shouldn't be the one to like say that. <laughs> oh yeah, now you're fishing here. Oh, yeah, no. no, I'm not. I'm going back over there. If you hook another one, wave at me, I'll come back. Oh, there he is. Whoa! Oh fish on! <laughs> fish on got it on camera too not a big one though no uh, wow well, i shouldn't say that i don't know for sure oh. <laughs> no Oh, he's wrapped. He's kind of wrapped himself. Man, they fight good. This this one's. 
Not no more. Oh, right in the head. He's not ready to come in. Yeah, this is a gorgeous looking fish. Nice one. He fought hard. Hard. One, one, two, two, one. Hey, we're fishing here. <laughs> here, I'll text you the picture. Holy Marcus, that's a nice one. Let him peel on it, yeah. There you go. You might have to loosen your drag just a touch, not much. So you get a nice one there, Marcus. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Just take your time, just let him do that. Let him pull the boat. Grumps has hooked probably the biggest fish of the trip, like he always does. Bridge Lake, you got a nice one. Take your time with them. We want them to burp. So Marcus is uh, dressed for the occasion here. Wearing his pajamas on vacation. We're pretty excited about it. That he can come and fish with us at any given time. Yeah, he got a sunburn yesterday on the pontoon boat. <laughs> and today I got up from my afternoon nap and we came out for an evening fish and the fish are biting here on Canham Lake and Marcus has a beast I don't know if he's going to fit in our net so when you hook a lake trout you want to make sure you take your time you don't want to get excited and pull them to the surface quickly they are susceptible to barometric pressure changes but they're also able to expel air. They can get rid of air. They call It's called burping. They'll burp their air up. And we don't see any air bubbles. Sometimes you won't see the air bubbles if these fish are off to the side. Slowly work them up. Yeah, he's not fighting very hard anymore. But once he sees the boat, he might take off for another dive here. He's at about 30 feet right now. 35 feet down still. So we still got a ways to go. He's heavy enough where he's pulling our boat around. I love it. Oh, wow. Look at that fish. Oh, he snagged himself. Oh, there he goes, yeah. right down to the deep. Good job, Marcus. And this is what we use to revive that fish. He was hooked in the belly. He snagged himself. This is a cradle net. It floats on the water and we're able to actually revive this fish and get him back into good shape so he can be released. We wanted to let these big lake trout go. So something like this is a good tool if you're practicing catch and release to ensure our lake trout fishery in the future. I've heard they slash at it with their tail or they lay on it. I've heard if they have a dead fish, they'll try and lay on it to protect it from other fish. And I think that's what he did. He laid on it, he felt it and he got him. And that's, that's, not, that's what happens. That's fishing. That's pretty cool. Okay, yeah, we'll be right in. We're just gonna cruise around in this bay here for a few minutes. Yep. Is mom awake? Yeah, she's cooking the steak. Getting them all ready. All right, are we having fish fry tomorrow? Probably. Okay. Oh, there's one. Go, 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 go. Two, three. Yeah, we're just dropping right now. Got to go. Oh, Grumps is on. Grumps just hooked one. Take a look at Grumps. Take your time. Okay, clump that. Take your time. Keep that tension on, though. Keep that rod bent. Don't pull too hard. 
A little one. <laughs> uh, it can be, but that's up to you. I wouldn't freeze it if I was you. Okay. There's quite a few fish there off that point. 